Hey, welcome to Chase and Tail TV. I'm your host, I'm Al Gag, and today we're fishing with my good friend Ian Devlin. We're on the Housatonic River, and he's going to put us on a pile of striped bass. Ian, how you been, first of all? Good to see you. Same here. It's a little cool out here today, but Too what bad. amazes me, Ian, is I can't believe you actually charter people in this kind of weather out here, and there's a lot of people that come down to do this. There, there are, and we do. Um, it's pretty good. The fish are just st setting up shop now. Um, you know, it's early December. We're going to be fishing in about 15 to 45 feet of water. Fish are going to be hunkering down the bottom. Sometimes they're suspended off the bottom, but uh, fishing can be quite good. So we'll, we'll be able to see this whole screen turn black on here. Like huh? right now? Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> there they are. What are we doing talking? Let's start fishing. <laughs> So Ian, what's the game plan today? Um, well, we're going to be fishing on the Housatonic here for wintering over striped bass using soft plastics. Well, I can't wait to nail them. I'm sure they'll fall prey to this whippet fish. Try a gradual raise off the bottom, you know, eight, six, six, eight feet off the bottom. Just keep coming steady and then yep. just let it go down. Take a peek at this, just get an idea of what you're fishing right now, Al. Oh, it didn't take long here. It didn't take long. Whoa, look at them. Nice fish. Nice fish. Nice, Al. No leader. I, I, I went direct, so be careful. Okay. Well, very light line, which we'll get into in a minute. There we go. Wow. Didn't take long. No, oh, it didn't take long at all. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's that, the whippet fish. Awesome. That's the four inch? That's the four inch whippet fish. And the difference between that and a lot of paddle tails is it's the head was built right to the body. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by that, it just doesn't flapper. It rolls and, and, and shoots like a plug, you know? Excellent. And so what I'm doing, I'm just dragging it on the bottom right now. And I go to lift it, and then he's right there. Unbelievable. And that's half ounce, right, Al? I'm using a half ounce. Half ounce, right here. you got okay. I can't believe how many fish are down here. So these striped bass are wintering over in the Housatonic River. Um, in Connecticut, there are three rivers that they winter over in: the Housatonic, the Connecticut, and the Thames rivers. Um, so these fish, you know, it's kind of a mystery to me because I've always wondered why they come to the river when it's actually colder in here than Long Island Sound. So I'm still trying to figure that out, but. I mean, there are times in here you'll be on 200 yards of fish, sometimes 15 feet thick. So it's quite good. Oh, there you go. Oh, here we go. All right, Al. There he is. Well, this ain't. This is bigger than the last one, he. Eh? Oh man! Oh, he got off. Did you see him? What a nice fish. Unbelievable. I think we're in a good spot, E. Eh? What do you got there? About 22,000 stripers underneath us. <laughs> That's about right. Unbelievable. Wow, what, what fun this is. Here we go, Al. You got one? You got a double. We got a double going here. Nice fish, Al. Ah, it's fun. It's just, it's unbelievable. Which can... size fish is that, Al? What's that? Which size fish is that, the, uh, the lure? I got a, I got a four inch on here now. I got a four inch, but uh, I think, uh, let me hear you. All right, here we go. That's it. We're going with the tonic. I feel bad for the cameraman today, Ralph. He doesn't know which way to go. <laughs> nice. Now, this is tidal. We are about eight miles upriver right now, and uh, the tide's just going out. We have a high tide, and uh, just above us, we have Derby Dam. This is uh, Sullivan's Island area. Um, the confluence, you have the other river, that's a Naugatuck coming in over here. I think this is a small tuna. 
<laughs> Whoa. Two at a time, right Al? Huh? Two at a time. Yeah, I know. Captain Ian Devlin, he'll put you on the fish. <laughs> so Ian, as long as, you know, I, I'm sure you've been out here when there's ice on the river. You know? Oh yeah. You know, in this, you know, in this part of the country where we live, you know, we have a very short fishing season and guys, guys like you that stretch it all the way out. You know? Well, I stretch it out to about 10 to 11 months out of the year until wow. ice really gives me an issue, which usually is in January. So I'm fishing pretty much right through uh, December and into January until ice becomes an issue. I hate so. to tell you, you should see what this screen looks like right now. <laughs> well, if it, it resembles it, a bunker school, we're in the right spot. <laughs> it does. I mean, this is unbelievable. I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> oh, just missed one. Another one. Now, toward, towards the spring, Ian, the, the fish will get a lot bigger, huh? Well, you have the river herring that run up river. You have the alewives and blueback herring, and they're about eight to 12 inches long, and they draw the larger fish. Yeah. So there's fish here every year, 40 to 50 pounds caught. And a lot of them from, from shore, in fact, actually. Oh yeah, I mean, if, now it's a state park here where people well, can actually come right in and, and just fish off the shore and, and use all this property. It's one of the few places you'll see surf casters 10 miles up from salt water. <laughs> I know, I know. You gotta love this. And here we are, everybody's saying Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. <laughs> <laughs> We're pulling stripers in. <laughs> it's not over till it's over. That's right. Uh, I think this is a mahi. <laughs> <laughs> you got a mail? Let me help you out. That's a nice fish. They're all nice. Nice. Say ah. Nice. Look how fat, look how fat this fish is. Beautiful fish. Don't don't be putting that keep away stuff on my hook now. <laughs> what I'm actually doing is just letting it go to the bottom and not really hopping it. I'm just raising it. You know. They, if you start hopping it really strong and sharp twitches, they don't want it. That's that's exactly it. Almost any jig, the first thing I do is let it sink to the bottom until I feel the thump when it hits bottom, and then just working yep. it slow. And you look at where these, you look at where these fish are, you know, taking this stuff down, and and it's just it's unbelievable. What I got here is a th uh, three eighth ounce uh, eel head. And I use this, I, I can interchange it with a whippet eel or the whippet fish, that's how we designed the bait. And I got a four inch uh, whippet fish on here right now. Ian's got a three eighth ounce, he's, he's got the three inch whippet fish. One thing I love about this style, any of the jigs, is no treble hooks, only single hook. I like that very much. It's a very healthy fish. You can tell, you can tell how they're eating it. They want it. Look how deep this guy's got it in him. Absolutely. I mean, he's got that thing down. You ain't losing him. And here again, I think it's I think it's because of the vibration. Like you said. Yep. They're picking up on that vibration in the water, no doubt about it. Okay. Which is unique to the paddle tail. So Ian, yeah. um, when does this actually start now? It generally starts, you know, the fish start migrating to winter over here right around the end of November. And uh, yeah. so we're, we're a week or two in when they're in here in numbers. And the other thing is, What's really interesting about this area is you really have a diverse amount of fish here. You have carp here, you have salmon here. Yeah. 
You have both smallmouth small mouth and largemouth bass. There's catfish in here. Big cat type, man. White, yeah, white catfish. Um, you know, you sea run brown channels. trout. Sea run brown trout. Yeah. So, at times, you know, we're catching three, four, five species of fish doing this same method. Oh, yeah. Wow, look at these. My God. Man, they're liking this whipping fish. I would have to agree with you on that. Yeah. It's a nice fish out. I'll tell you, you guys want to have some good fun and you, you're getting them winter blues, come to the Housatonic. Look up Ian Devlin, have him get you out here. You can have fun like this too. Go get bigger, baby. It's, it's actually a good idea when you're fishing amongst other boats to you know be quiet, use a trolling motor or a paddle, or if you don't have any of those, you know, either drift or just idle you know, quietly amongst other fishermen. I prefer the trolling motor. No, I mean, did you ever fish where these two meet right at that point? Yeah, right the confluence there? right there. Usually more in the spring. Yeah. But this time of the year, this, some of the salmon trickle down. The, you know, the brood stocks they stock up. Oh, sure. Up river, so. I'm, 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 I'm almost positive there's been guys that been out here fishing these stripers and hook into one of them. We did that a few years ago. A friend of mine, Scott uh, Bennett, his, uh, his father-in-law caught one about 32 inches. Wow. On a soft plastic and a jig head, just the same method we're doing here. Wow. So, you never know. You know, Ian, what I noticed here, there's gotta be so many fish in here. You even got people just from the shore. And the, well, I mean, especially when it gets narrow, like in this stretch, it's it's relatively narrow. Yeah. And this, it's, so the fish are more focused in the channel and it's easier so, to access from shore. But the people can come down to O'Sullivan Island Recreational Area. Yes. There we go. Got it. That's a better fish. Could be a carp. <laughs> Ian, I just want to thank you for having me out today. It, it was a great day, and uh, you know, I mean, we caught a lot of fish. We had a lot of fun. The whippet eel worked. The whippet fish worked. And uh, for you folks at home, if you want to come out and have the same same kind of trip I did, just copy the information down on the screen, get a hold of Ian, and I'm sure you'll have a good time. And always remember, it's the only outdoors we have, so let's protect it.